Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by and checking out my channel today. Uh, in this video, I am going to take a look at Unified Communications Manager licensing. Not only the licensing itself, the uh, chart or data sheet level explanation, but we're actually going to take a look at how those licenses are applied to the system and how they manifest themselves when you provision users and phones uh, against those licenses. So uh, anyway, if you're new here, consider subscribing. Give me a thumbs up if you find this helpful. Otherwise, we're going to dive in and check it out firsthand. All right, so let's start by discussing this chart. And I know what you're saying. Oh, my word, there's a chart. This looks complicated. Frankly, I don't disagree. Uh, but it is what it is. So let's start, uh, let's start here with the different types of licensing across the top and then the different features that come with the licensing down the side. So the most basic or uh, simplistic license you can get is UCL Essential. Essential is the most basic phone. Analog lines are going to be licensed under Essential. There are also some, uh, you know, analog equivalent SIP phones, we'll call them. I want to say the 3905 might be one that are so basic you can make calls on them. There's no transfer hold functionality or, or anything much past that. Uh, so it's extremely basic phones. These would fall under UCL Essential. Uh, the next tier is UCL Basic. So this would be something like a, uh, what would this be, like a 7811 or 7821. Very basic SIP phone. You can do a little bit more on it. I believe you can hold, transfer, and um, a couple things like that. It might have one or two line keys at the most, so it's not super feature rich. But again, SIP, uh, or I'm sorry, UCL Basic. Now, the next tier is really two tiers, quite honestly. It's UCL Enhanced and UCL Enhanced Plus. So, Enhanced uh, is really any phone. It can be 8800 series, it can be a conference phone, it can be whatever. Uh, enhanced is a single device registered. Think of it as a common area device that's not registered to a user, or it can be a single device registered to a user. Either way, it is a single device that's registered. Now, to get a little bit more complicated, UCL Enhanced Plus. Think of this as, uh, well, UCL is User Connect Licensing. So this is now a user that is Enhanced Plus, has two registrations available with it. So you can take uh, two devices, say an 8845 video phone and a Jabber client registered for calling, assign them to a user, uh, to the same user, obviously, and that user or that Enhanced Plus license assigned to that user is going to consume, you know, it's going to be covering two devices. It's going to be an Enhanced Plus license. Now, that does not include Unity Connection mailboxes, or really any of these up to this point do not, con uh, cons or do not cover Unity licensing. So no mailbox, no voicemail, uh, that type of thing. Unified Workspace Licensing, or Cool Licensing, Cisco Unified Workspace Licensing, has a Unity Connection mailbox included. It also allows more than two devices to be registered, up to 10. So this would be great if you have a DX80 on your desk for video. You might have an 8851 uh, or 45 or something like that at home. You might have the Jabber client running on a couple different devices, your laptop and your smartphone. This would be a cool standard licensing play. So uh, the nice thing about the cool standard is it's much more flexible. You get that Unity mailbox, like I mentioned, and these licenses can be borrowed down through all of the other tiers. Really, any licensing tier can be borrowed by a tier below it. So if I have, um, you know, 50 cool licenses installed and I have 50 analog lines, these uh, licenses will be showed as UCL essential licenses being consumed, but it will make note that it's borrowing them from the cool standard tier. Uh, now, obviously, that's not a very cost-effective way to license your system. Um, however, maybe in the Enhanced Plus tier, it makes sense to go with Cool because, hey, I get license, I get device registration, and I get a voice mailbox uh, included. So anyway, beware of that. Cool Meetings, uh, I believe we actually have seen this go end of sale. Uh, but if you run into it, this is what it is. It's all of that Cool Standard stuff. Plus, you got some WebEx conferencing for uh, on-premise uh, 
or um, the uh, telepresence, you know, server licensing with it. This was, um, you know, when a lot more video bridging was happening on prem. We're really seeing that shift to the cloud, so this is kind of uh, negated at this point. But again, you may run into that out in the wild. Now we're going to jump over to Unified Communications Manager, and I'm going to actually show you that license borrowing uh, in in a real system, so that you have a uh, better understanding of uh, how that looks. All right, so here we are on a Unified Communications Manager system. This system is running 12.5, which is the latest. Uh, or one of the latest versions of Unified Communications Manager. 12 and later is worth is noteworthy because it requires smart licensing. Uh, and I'm going to show you how that manifests itself here uh, as we see these licenses applied. If you go to System, go to Licensing and Licensing Management. When you land on this page, you'll notice a few different things. You'll see the software uh, or smart software licensing information and registration information at the top. Uh, and then you'll see the licensing usage report at the bottom. Uh, hit update usage details if you've recently made changes. Uh, outside of that, the report should be pretty accurate. As you'll see, there are different licensing types listed. There's Cool, Enhanced Plus, Enhanced Basic, and Essential. I went ahead and registered a few devices to the system uh, to kind of give us some data to work with here. Uh, I'll also put out, point out that uh, users and unassigned devices have a, uh, a call out at the bottom here. So uh, I mentioned cool licenses and enhanced plus licenses. Let's view the usage, uh, the usage report for users and kind of start from there. You'll notice I have two users, uh, Adam, test user, and John Adams. One is using a cool license. He has three devices registered. And the other is using two because there are only two devices registered. Uh, we can go in and view the details of those devices here. There you see a 7841, an 8065, and a DX80. After jumping back, we can also view the unassigned device usage report. Here you will see two different devices that are unassigned. Here is a uh, Cisco 8811, which is consuming an enhanced and there is a uh, 3905 consuming and essential. Now in this scenario, we see the current usage. We see a cool license, an enhanced plus, an enhanced and an essential are being used. Because we don't load licenses onto CUCM 12 or later uh, because of smart licensing, we'll actually go out to the smart licensing portal to see what exactly we have installed and get an inventory of what's being used. You can go to software.cisco.com and log in if you are set up for smart licensing. Hit the smart software licensing button that's right here, uh, kind of toward the uh, right hand side of the screen. You'll be taken to a page that looks something like this. You want to ensure you have the inventory tab selected and the licensing tab under your virtual account. Obviously I am working in a lab. Find the UC Manager licenses, and here you can see them. I have Cool, Enhanced, Enhanced Plus, Essential, uh, and Telepresence Room, which uh, Telepresence Room, fortunately, are kind of a thing of their own, so they typically are not going to conflict with this. Um, you'll notice that I have 50 Cool licenses installed or purchased. You can see if I hover, I have three licenses being fulfilled uh, at lower tiers. So there's one here. There's one here and one here. In other words, these licenses can be drawn down to lower tiers. You see there is in fact a cool license in use and there's a balance of 46 left in my smart account to provision other users and other devices. This source of truth here is going to give you the idea of where your environment stands today. The balance will show you what you have to use and ultimately the in use and the uh, the the indicators under the purchased tab will show you, you know, kind of uh, the give you an idea of what is being used at a lower tier. This is based on the smart licensing model, so uh, the similar information is available in Prime Licensing Manager on 11.5 and older systems as well. If you have any questions, comments, or tips or tricks. Leave them in the comments section below. With that being said, though, that's the video for today. Uh, thanks for watching. Let me know what else it is you want to see. And I hope to see you back here sometime soon. Thanks for watching.